So in this video, we're going to take a look at Pearson's correlation coefficient. So let me explain what this is first of all. In one of the previous videos, we took a look at scatter diagrams. And here you can see six of them look okay. And we should know our words by now, strong, moderate and weak and then positive and negative, right? Now, um, what would be nice is if we could have a numerical value to measure how strong a correlation is. Well, such a thing does exist. And what we have is Pearson's correlation coefficient. Now, there is a very complicated formula for it, but we don't need to know that here. We're gonna be looking to find this value on our calculators. But if we have a perfect correlation that is positive, then Pearson's will come out to be one. That's the highest it can be. And this one here is one. This is probably about 0 0.9 or something like that. If it was exactly straight, it'd be one. And in a negative sense, okay, if we had a perfect negative correlation, we would come out of a Pearson's of minus one. And so if there is no correlation at all, or it's a very, very weak we're going to be looking at something close to zero. So uh, let's take a look and see what this looks like in a bit more detail. So here we go. The value, and we call it R, R is the Pearson symbol. So if we have perfect positive correlation, as I've said, look, there we go, in an absolute perfect line, R is one. Okay, if, and we can see, look, just I'll just scroll through this with you. Okay, as we get m less and less strong a correlation, and we get more and more closer to a kind of no correlation look, we get closer and closer to zero, right? No correlation at all when we're at zero. And really, I mean, it's a, it's a good discussion point as to when we say there's no correlation, right? Okay, in this example, it's between zero and 0 0.1, but that's up for debate. Now then, as we go then past zero, and we start to get a, if you like, larger negative number, we're tending towards one, we're going to get more and more uh, of a correlation until at r is equal to minus one, we have a perfect negative correlation. So if we can work out this Pearson number, then what we can do is we can compare different scattered diagrams to see how things are correlated. And without even drawing the diagram, we'll know the relationship between our two variables that we're focusing on. So let's just jump in and show you how to find this on the TI-84 calculator. So let's just take a think then about this particular uh, example. We've got a group of adults, they're weighed, and their maximum speed when sprinting is also calculated, right? So for example, this person is 85 kilograms and runs at a maximum speed of 26 kilometers per hour. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna input this into our calculator. You're gonna press the stat button and then enter to get the edit feature up. And we're going to list those variables, look, in columns L1 and L2. I mean, it could be any columns, but let's just remember the first thing is L1 and the second is L2. So we type them in, okay, and then next step is to press calculation again and scroll across to, sorry, stat again, press the stat button, and then scroll across to calculations menu. And although you would expect to be looking at two variable statistics, that is not the right one. We need to make sure you type in Linreg, and then it's the AX plus B option. Just be aware, look, there's another one there. That's not the one we want. Okay, number four on that menu. Okay, so once that's happened, all right, you should get this option. Now, wherever you put that first variable in, that column, make sure we type that in there, look. So we used it, we typed it in in L1. So press the blue button and then press the corresponding button that matches to L1. Exactly the same look for the second one, L2. Scroll down and press enter. And then you should get this menu come up right? And what we're looking for here is R. So in this case, there is a negative correlation between those two. Look, the, and that makes sense, doesn't it? Because the heavier you are, it's probably expected the least, uh, uh, the less you uh, speed you'll get when you're running, okay? So um, just a quick note. So for, oh, so I should say, of course, that R is equal to a negative 0 0.81 in this case. Now, one thing that does come up from time to time is when you do this in a calculator, just on occasions, this doesn't appear. 
Um, it's something to do with the settings on your TI-84. So what you'll need to do is either get a teacher to change your set, uh, settings. Um, you can do this yourself as well. If you go into the catalog feature and then you scroll through all the settings until you find the, the words diagnostic on. And once you see the diagnostic on, press it, okay, turn it on. And then next time you do this, you will see that R value. Okay, hopefully that has helped you to find Pearson's correlation coefficient.